Thank you, Mark. Many will be checking around their homes for storm damage this morning after that night of storms. Rain, wind and even hail pounded much of eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. There were also several tornado warnings across southeast Nebraska, including the area near Fairbury, where there was a report of a tornado touching the ground. Fortunately, there are no reports of any injuries. And that same storm system caused tree damage across the metro and even some street flooding in Bellevue. Those roads are now open again as many prepare to clean up. 3 News Now reporter Daniel Davis joins us live from the Storm Tracker with a look at what the storm left behind. Good morning, Courtney. Uh, we are driving around now. We're here in Bellevue. Now we did start out this morning in Council Bluffs. Uh, they did have some high winds there, a lot of debris on the streets, branches, trees, and then we got on I-29 and headed south. So we're here in Bellevue. Now things have definitely calmed down here a lot. This is definitely the calm after the storm. We have seen some tree damage as well as a lot of debris on the roads. Even saw a bicycle and a car license plate on the ground. And people are starting to slowly come out of their houses to check out the damage. Like I said, a lot of tree branches and leaves in the yards and on the streets. But so far, no major roadblocks that we've been able to see right now. The rain is still coming down, but just slightly. Uh, we do have uh, winds here but things have definitely calmed down. And I tell you what, it really scared me last night because all of the high winds and thunderstorms and rain pounding woke me up from my sleep last night, but things eventually did calm down. So this is Danielle Davis for 3 News Now This Morning. Courtney, back to you in the studio. Hopefully you can catch up on some sleep later today, Danny. Glad to see things are calming down. Now, power crews spent the night working to restore power to thousands of people across the area. Let's take a look at the latest on the OPPD power outage map. Right now, it shows 463 customers that don't have electricity, and most, as you can see, are in Douglas County. At one point last night, that number was at more than 8,300, with thousands of outages in Douglas, Saunders, Sarpy, and Cass County. Crews restored power to 2,000 people near Ashland around 11 last night.